On today's episode of How To XRGB Mini, I'm going to try and answer a question I get quite often. That question is, do I need a sink stripper? Before I get to the answer, let's take a look at the origins of this question. First, I'm going to assume you are watching this video because you want to get the best possible picture out of your old systems using an XRGB Mini FrameMeister. Second, you're hooking all of your old systems up to the FrameMeister using SCART cables. Now, RGB video gets its name from the colors each line carries, also matching the phosphors of an old CRT television or liquid crystals on a modern flat panel LCD. RGB of course stands for red, green, blue. In addition to a SCART cable carrying the RGB color information, it also needs to carry the sync information. This way, the monitor or FrameMeister knows how to display these colors. Historically speaking, the sync information is taken from the composite video line. This is the same composite video found on the yellow cable in a standard set of composite video cables. This is known as sync on composite. Unfortunately, composite video has a very noisy signal, and this signal noise can leak into the sync information. The most obvious artifacts of this noise is checkerboard patterns on solid colors. This brings us to the topic of today's video, the sync stripper. What a sync stripper does is strip the composite video information from the line, hopefully leaving us with nothing but the sync information. Generally speaking, this should resolve issues like the checkerboarding mentioned earlier. So, if a sync stripper makes the picture look better, you obviously need one, right? The answer is actually no. Most older consoles output something called Composite Sync, or C-Sync for short. This C-Sync line contains nothing but the sync information, so there is no composite video noise causing any sort of issues. The result is a pixel-perfect picture without any checkerboarding or other anomalies. In all of my videos, I recommend buying a C-Sync wired SCART cable. Buying a cable wired like this eliminates the need for a sync stripper, as C-Sync contains no information needing to be stripped. Finally, if you are trying to figure out which mini DIN to Euro SCART adapter you need for your FrameMeister, buy the cheaper one. If you are ordering all of your cables wired for C-Sync, then there is no information to strip, rendering a sync stripper pointless. You are already getting the best possible picture and nothing more is needed. Of course, this is a very FrameMeister centric video, and there could be other applications where a sync stripper is in fact necessary. But if you're just looking to get the best possible picture out of the FrameMeister, you don't have to worry about it.